What is up fellow developers, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be going over how to make the perfect responsive square. So you're thinking, Tyler, why does anybody want to make a square? Well, the reason you want to make a square is because it's not as easy as you think. You're not just going to be doing whip 400 pixels, um, whip f f uh, height 400 pixels, because that would make a perfect square, but it's not responsive. So we're going to go over three ways you can make a square, and the last one will be the perfect responsive square, which will always be responsive. So... Without further ado, let's crack on with this video. So we're using CodePen, as you can see here, to write the code. Um, it's the same as writing it and anywhere else. You write your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript, and it will show you a preview on the right. So let's write some markup. Um, we need a a, a diff, for uh, and we're going to call it a square, and we're going to call this square one. So this is square one for our classes, and in here we're just going to write box one hit save and there we go we've got nothing there so let's quickly just do a quick reset i'm just going to say margin oh, margin zero padding zero box sizing border box by the way this is not necessary for the actual making a perfect box i'm just doing this because i hate how um, browsers default your styling so now we've done that, I'm also going to write in here dot square. And each of our squares is going to have a background color of EEE -E -E and a border of three pixels solid, solid, or no, dashed, dashed red. Do you know that's how every debug works? So you can see we've got this. Now that's not really a great square because it's not even square. So for square one, we're going to say, or we can actually do this in here because we're using SAS. Uh, square one, we're going to say width 100 pixels, height 100 pixels. So again, this is what I said earlier. This is the first way to make a, a square. Hello, box. <laughs> Let's uh, save. Hello, refresh. Why does my box not want to work? Oh, and dot one. Sorry, my bad. So there we go. We've got this little box. Let's make that a bit bigger. Actually, let's give that 300 by 300. Hit save. And we've got this box. And that's a perfect square. It is a perfect square. The issue is, though, as you start going out, it's not breaking down. It's now just a square which is broke out of page. So you'd have to add media queries to keep breaking this down, which it's all right in some cases, but most of the time you don't want that. Um, so let's create a second box. And this time we'll call this box two. Say and two. And for two, we're going to use a weird method, which is responsive, but it's not really useful in most cases. So we're going to say width uh, 25 vertical width and a viewport width. So that's going to make it 25% off the whole screen, the whole viewport. Doesn't matter what container is, you can have a container of 50% of the width, and this one will always be 25% of the whole uh, thing. That's how viewport, viewport widths work. <laughs> and now we can say height 25 viewport widths, and that's going to make a square. Again, I'm just going to quickly add margin bottom off 30 pixels to push these away from each other. There we go. Um, and that one needs a box too. So again, this one's response is actually as you shrink down, it shrinks down into a perfect square still. Problem is, what happens if you want it full width on a mobile? You're gonna have to do you're gonna have to make media queries again to go 100 VW and 100 VW to get it to be the right size on each screen, and also it'll be huge on bigger screens if it's a hundred viewport width. So I'm going to put this back down to 25, and that's kind of, they're kind of annoying, aren't they? So now the next one, this one is the best box and one of the best tricks I've learned because not only can you make a perfect square, you can make a perfect rectangle that's responsive. You can make a perfect any sort of aspect ratio. So let's say if you wanted a 16 by 9 video in an iframe, but you didn't know how to go about it, this way can work. So we can say here, and dot, and we will say, not one, uh, this is three. So let's create number three. 
So we're going to have an issue here. So we're going to delete the text because this way doesn't work with text straight out of the box. It's the only flaw, but it will. you can add text to it pretty easily. It literally is like two lines of code, three lines of code. So in here, we're going to say and free. And we've got an all right square. We'll give it a, um, a max width of 400 pixels. So we've got this this broken thing here or oh, we'll give it 300 because that's how we made the other one uh 300 pixels but it's not square and you're probably thinking tyler why is it not square well that's because we need to use an after and in the after we need to give this some content so it displays we need to make it a display of block and here's where the real magic happens we now need to say padding top 100% so 100% of padding top in an after will use the 100% of the width of its container so as you can see it's now making a perfect square and look it stays the same size all the way down until it hits the wall and when it hits the wall it shrinks down you can see it becomes it's still a square and it's just breaking down which is perfect that's exactly what you want so if you have multiple of these in a box they're all going to break down once they hit that max width area um, which is perfect that's literally what you want. That's a complete response square. But one floor is if we now add box three in here as content, you can see it's no longer a square. That's because the padding top 100% gives it 100% of its width. So now this is another element in here sitting underneath this box. So it's a square underneath this. And that's not kind of what you want. So a way around this is to cut the, um, cut the uh, text make a diff inside this diff called content and then inside the content we can go dot content position absolute and i know you're thinking position absolute why are you using that it's a terrible idea well in this case all you're doing is creating another box inside a box and putting it to the same width as your outer box so we're just going to say position absolute width 100 percent height 100 percent Let's give this a background of blue. And as you can see, it's now a perfect square again. And you've got content in there. And you can add loads of content in here. We can say break uh, is cool. And there you go. We've got two lines and it's still a perfect square, which is responsive. So I know this isn't useful for many people, but some people find it super useful because you think about it. You can now make a responsive square because a lot of people want a responsive square. Um, they just, most people don't realize how hard it is to make a responsive square. It's not as easy as going width 100%, height 100%. It's not, it's not a square because it depends on the outer element. So this is enough a flawless way to make a box. But let's say we have an iframe. So instead of the content, we had an iframe in here and we made that um, the same um, as the content. So this was a video. And you know how video YouTube embeds when you embed them they get a black border around it because they're not the right aspect ratio. Now we can actually work, turn this into an aspect ratio by cutting the padding top 100%. We can add a function called calc. We could pass the 100% and we can say divided by, and then using parentheses, we can put in our aspect ratio. So we can say 16 divided by nine. And that is gonna give us a 16 by divided by nine box. And that is perfectly 16 divided by nine. We could say 16 divided by 10 hit save and there you go 16 divided by 10 we can flip this now so it's vertical instead of sideways by doing times and there you go now we've got a phone size essentially or if we go back to divide we bring it back this way it's still 16 by 10 and we can just flip these so we can say 16 10 and there we go we've got the same phone size again it's a perfect thing so if you want an ipad we can say four by three and we've got a sideways ipad size or we could say three by four and there you go you've got the ipad vertically and that's all the aspect ratio you do so you can create loads of cool effects with this and it's now a perfect it's perfectly going to be the same size and it's responsive so look as we break it down it follows size so if we go back to 16 by nine and you have a video in here when you break it down, it's going to shrink down with your screen. So if this was max width, let's say you had 640, not 6,400, and you break it down, it's going to always be that 16 by 9 video, 
which is perfect for doing iframe videos and stuff like that. So it's not even just a perfect square. It's a perfect shape or rectangular shape you can make, which is always gonna have the exact same aspect ratio. Now, this was a super short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, then hit that subscribe button. And if you have any feedback or comments, then obviously leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and peace out.